with all the euphoria around the place, how did you prepare the players in the week leading up to the game? Well, we, we sort of had a walk, done the usual things, had a walk up the beach one day along the front and had a cup of tea and just made it. That, in them days, that was our teams prepare for the cup. Every team uh, for big cup ties, they'd go down the coast. You know, they'd come from London to Bournemouth or they'd go up the north, they'd go to Blackpool. A walk along the seafront was just seemed to be the thing that teams did in them days. So we had a walk up the front one day, I had a jog and had a cup of tea. And then on the Friday, I took them to uh, the Looper restaurant in Charminster for a uh, pre-match meal, pasta, you know. and. Uh, that was the day that uh, the, 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 the boss of the restaurant said to uh, Ian Lee, our goalkeeper, look, you know, he thought we were going to get murdered. So he said, if you keep a clean sheet tomorrow, no goals against, I give you free pizza for life. And he was a bit fat anyway, the goalkeeper. I've got to be honest, he, the one thing he didn't need was eating more pizza. <laughs> he was about two stone overweight as it was. <laughs> he wasn't the tallest either. We called him Nipper, great lad, Ian Lee. Anyway, obviously we win 2-0, but uh, Nipper had a bit of free pizza for about six, eight months. He was getting fatter by the minute. But then I actually bought that restaurant, and when I bought it, I said, sorry, under new management, no more pizza. <laughs> That's the end of the pizzas. And he argued, he said, no, I was told it. I said, but yeah, that was it with the old manager, the old owners, new owners, and no more pizza. So, uh, but that no, was a great day, and we won the game 2-0. It was, it was amazing for us.